Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with what is, for me, perhaps the ultimate pen mail video. This is, this is massive. This is the grail pen. This is something that I need to share with you. Really, really, really quite happy to have done this. And I'm going to start off by talking about what is a grail pen. Now, we all have our own ideas about what our grail pens are. If you don't know what a grail pen is, in the fountain pen community, the fountain pen world, it is merely that pen that you have always, always wanted. And when I first started my fountain pen journey, my grail pen was the Lamy 2000. The reason it's a grail pen, I mean, you can pick it up. You can, I think you can even buy it in a big WH Smiths in this country here in the UK. You know, it's not that you can't get hold of these things. So for beginners especially, I think the grail pen just happens to be something which you think is way out of your league, way out of your price bracket. And Lamy, I think with the Lamy 2000 especially, I mean, they increased their prices in late 2020 and pushed the price of the Lamy 2000 even higher. It was really, really good value. I mean, you could pick one up for about £130. Um, but I think it's more in the region of 160, 170 now, which is quite a significant chunk of money. I'm not saying it's not worth that, but when I talk about a grail pen, I mean, way back in 2018, 2019, when I first bought my first Lamy 2000, it was on eBay and it was broken. And I was very lucky because Lamy, I knew it was broken, I knew there were issues with it, but it was a Lamy 2000 and I thought maybe I can find a spare part for it, something like that. And in the end I contacted Lamy. Lamy customer service for me, personally, was absolutely excellent. They basically <laughs> gave me a new cap and re they essentially serviced the pen. So I got a refurbished, 100% manufacturer refurbished, working Lamy 2000 for free from Lamy. They didn't charge me at all for any of that, which was absolutely brilliant. So thank you again, Lamy. Great stuff. Um, and that was my Grail pen. That was the pen that I would probably always want. However, there was one other pen which I was always looking at and I've always been put off by it mainly because I've heard a lot about the quality control issues with the nibs um, and it's it's for me a grail pen which is just too stupidly expensive it's it was never going to be worth paying top price for one of these pens it was just not something that I was ever going to do it was something that I would always always want but never actually get around to doing so, I've talked in previous videos about, um, you know, buying from China, buying from other uh, retail sites, e-commerce sites, eBay, Amazon, even Facebook, with the, um, the private listings which are on there, and you can get some really good bargains, and this was one of those, it was one of these things that I saw, it came up for a price a few months ago, um, with one private individual on Facebook and I really wanted it but I thought you know what it's still just too much money it's just not it's just not worth it and I felt really quite disappointed because I missed out it sold very quickly to somebody else and I'm sure they're very happy with the purchase and I thought well you know you get that um, buyer's regret and you think well actually you know what you've just got to move on and it's like on, on eBay when you see a really good listing and you miss out by either forgetting to bid or forgetting to increase your maximum bid or you just don't win the auction. Things like that can really be like, oh no, I really wanted it. If only I'd have bid a little bit extra or remembered about um, the actual listing, things like that. And that was one of those situations. I missed out, but I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna chase this. There's no, no point me sort of saying, this is what I really want, I'm going to pay whatever it takes to get hold of one of these pens. It was not worth it. And then another private seller listed one for even less money and it was just too cheap for me. It, I, there were some 
minor issues which do not bother me at all it is not the original nib for example it's still the manufacturer's nib but it's not the same nib that the pen was supplied fitted with the seller was selling it because he didn't use the pen very often liked it had another one so if you got two of them you know <laughs> two with the same medium nib and he didn't like how broad this medium nib was so he was selling one of those pens with that medium nib that was just too broad for him nib was smooth nothing wrong with it and he reinserted the uh, nib into the section it wasn't quite perfect but he was happy it wrote well and i was happy i was going to get a purchase of the right value um, no box supplied once again packaging doesn't really interest me very much with a pen it's that thing that I can't, have, I can't bear throwing away because it goes with the pen, it helps the resale value of the pens, but I just wanted the pen. I wasn't really interested in the packaging, so I got the pen, I bought it, and I was really, really, really excited to buy this. And I'm looking forward to using the pen, doing a full review on it in due course. So I'm gonna go back to talking about the Grail pens. It's the thing that you want, and it's the thing that you want but you can't get. Now the price for a lot of beginners is always going to be the issue because they don't want to stretch that far, they don't want to go to um, to a pen show and go, oh it's a beautiful pen, the guy sitting behind the table says, well yeah, but it's X number of dollars, X pounds, whatever it is, and they're going to walk away disappointed because actually, you know what, they've got, I don't know, say 50 quid they've got 50 pounds in their hand ready to buy a pen for 50 pounds i'm using this as a nominal number 50 pounds for a pen if they can find it and they can't get hold of the pen for that so they don't really obtain their grail pen simply because it's out of the budget which is simple as now there are other grail pens which are just if you like unobtainable they're incredibly rare or hardly ever found or difficult to obtain things like that that becomes a true in my honest opinion true grail pen the pen I'm going to show you today you can buy it from retailers in the UK it's easy enough to purchase one if you've got enough coin but that is the problem and dogs are kicking off and more dogs kicking off outside so the grail pen situation is a difficult one and now this is the grail pen that i have always really wanted since the start of my fountain pen journey for various reasons and i'll go through those when i show you the pen you're probably going to want to fast forward because i'm rabbiting on but getting there the grail pen is one of those things where does this leave my fountain pen journey with the grail pen well you know does that mean that that's the end of it no of course not because there's always going to be some really cheap fountain pens come out which i really want because i like the design i enjoy the love of different fountain pens different uh, manufacturers trying different nibs different inks all the rest of it there's a whole load of stuff that goes into this hobby so just because you don't ha you have the one pen that you've always wanted doesn't mean that's it that's the end of fountain pen journey because I've got the thing I wanted. Great, okay, I'm a winner. Walk away now, bye. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Well, not for me anyway. So I got this, this Grail pen, um, which made me think, you know what, what's my next Grail pen? Once again, it's something which I've been looking for for a very, very long time, and it is difficult to obtain. It's expensive, probably, may not be, depending on where I go, but sometimes you can find these things for sale and sometimes you're going to be lucky and get one for a good price the grail pen i'm looking for is now the next on the list that's going to be a difficult one to find really really difficult to find i'm not going to go into it because it's going to be so exciting when i do do it i'll share it with you but anyway let's get back to the uh, the pen in question today right here we go grail pen time now i'm not going to show you the packaging because it's got everybody everybody's address on but here we go and the seller did kindly throw in an ink sample and also a uh, a pen cozy a leather pen cozy quite a nice nice one which i'd probably not use with this particular pen 
but thank you again for that so what is the pen the grail pen well here we go you may already recognize it through this packaging and it was packaged more securely than this to be honest i have taken away some of the bubble wrap that was gonna get in the way to have a look at the pen oh there we have it my grail pen if you don't know what it is then it is a visconti homo sapiens bronze age and this is one of those fountain pens that i've always wanted ever since i probably saw it was probably a Goulet pens video um way back in 2017 when i first started looking at fountain pens and i thought oh that sounds nice and then i probably looked at the price and went you know what <laughs> it sounds nice but not at that price no thanks so this was an in my honest opinion an absolute bargain for me really really nice looking nice feeling nice weighty fountain pen and the first impressions i'm not going to do a full review because i need to get to grips with this pen you know fill it make sure it's actually clean before i start to uh, stop messing around with it too much but yeah i'm very very happy to finally have one of these in my hand second hand so therefore paid a lot less and it was a good second hand price we've got all the usual visconti stuff going on we've got Visconti with the Ponte Vecchio bridge clip this iconic Visconti clip which of course is sort of sprung it's not the most grippy thing but functional I'm guessing the bronze age of course with the bronze which is patinating 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 don't know oxidizing uh, somewhat from the previous seller which is great because I like that I think it adds character I'm not into polishing metals and unnecessarily um, and it looks great I mean it, 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 it does look like a proper thing of beauty and it is in my honest opinion yeah it, it's understated but it is absolutely gorgeous the uncapping has the Visconti hook and um, I can't remember what you call it hooking cap system so it's, it's not an unscrew cap it sort of it's sprung and it just you just turn it slightly uncaps and it comes off and you just turn to cap and it just smoothly clunks into place gold medium Visconti nib looking forward to seeing how that one writes especially as the seller said it is actually really good and smooth and it's just too broad for him which is probably broad enough for me nice section not too long there is a step up there will admit there is definitely a step up on that section so when I do, do a full review after I've written with this pen for some time um, I will give you my thoughts on all of this I'm just about to sneeze I'll just try and hold that <coughs> bless me <laughs> sorry about that so yeah good size nice weight and one of the things which has always attracted me to this Visconti Homo sapiens these ages if you like bronze age dark age um, is the material which is made out of a resin impregnated with um, they call it lava from Mount Etna um, it could be some sort of basalt type material I'm not entirely sure what the process is but it is supposed to be really nice and it is it feels great it feels it's, it's not cold at all there is certainly some warmth to that and it does reflect heat back into your hand and your fingers which is nice it's in between matte and gloss um, to feel really really quite nice 
really really nice in the hand very good feel very tactile and it will of course absorb grease from your hands and things like that so it's not something to be uh, to be using when you're eating uh, bags of crisps and stuff like that because the grease will absorb into this material and I should imagine it's probably quite difficult to uh, difficult to clean but there we have it the grail pen absolutely gorgeous very very happy so thank you very much for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on all notifications to be notified of when the review of this pen goes live because if you're interested in that sort of thing it was a bargain remember <laughs> it was, this isn't me going oh you know what i'm going to start going into high-end pens this is about as high-end as it's ever going to go so do turn on the notifications and see this pen in its full review in due course thanks very much for watching i shall see you next time bye